And he's really giving back. He's selling those t-shirts and he said all of the profits, right, go to the hospital to the team that cared for him. So that's so amazing. Always love hearing those stories. All right, 618, let's go ahead and start things outside. It is a really nice start to the day. Uh, we're starting to see those clouds build, but it's making way for a really gorgeous sunrise. And then we'll have those clouds rebuild later on this afternoon, which will likely make way for a really gorgeous sunset. So here's a live picture right now in Alpine. Current temperatures are cold. If you're getting those kiddos ready for school or perhaps you're taking that morning jog, I would bundle up. Right now we're waking up to lots of 40s and 50s across the board. 46 right now currently in Oceanside, 49 in Fallbrook and 48 in the Vista neighborhood. San Diego hour by hour this afternoon will be about 5 to 10 degrees cooler. We'll hover near that 70 degree mark, but we'll still trend below normal across our coastal and inland communities. We are keeping our eye on this next weather maker. It's brewing off the northern California coast, tapping into this atmospheric river, saturating much of the state, but for us it's not doing much. In fact, it looks like we'll have partly sunny skies later on this afternoon before clouds rebuild later on this evening. So as we take a look at the high High resolution rain feature cast here. We could see showers as early as 4 or 5 a.m., likely impacting that morning commute. And those showers become much more widespread in the afternoon. We'll also see periods of heavy rain around 2 3 p.m. And we even have the chance of seeing a thunderstorm or two in the mountains and desert areas. When all is said and done by Wednesday morning, we're looking at accumulations anywhere from about an inch in Oceanside, close to about an inch and a quarter in Fallbrook. And it looks like Palomar Mountain will be the big winner, collecting about an inch and three quarters. So it looks higher as far as accumulation goes in those uh, higher elevations. This will not only be heavy rain event, but we're looking at very high winds. Wind gusts could exceed close to 50, 60 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. That's when it looks like the peak activity will occur for the mountains and the desert areas. The coastal and inland areas will also have their fair share of high winds anywhere from 20 upwards of 40 miles per hour. Coastal areas today, as I mentioned, mostly dry conditions. We'll have some late evening rain and then tomorrow just bank on a very soggy day. The good news is a storm moves out by Wednesday and we're looking dry towards the latter part of the work week. And then we have another storm this weekend. So just plan for a wet uh, weekend ahead and then a wet Tuesday as we roll out a new week. Mountain areas will be in the low 50s. South winds will pick up later on this afternoon, peaking tomorrow afternoon, as I mentioned. This will be a pretty warm system, so unfortunately snow levels won't drop by much. We'll be in the low 70s in the desert areas, 60s tomorrow. All right, at 620.